to my channel. I am Sandy. In 2019, I purchased a farm as my second home and part of my retirement plan. I'd like to make sure I have a successful retirement. I have about eight to 10 years to go. Now is the perfect time to start planning. That said, I'd like to hear from you, the financial community, the farm community, retirees, soon to be retirees, and folks that's just interested in what it would take to retire on a farm. The farm. In the background, those are long horn cattle. The question, why retire to a farm? Definitely for me to improve my quality of living. I live in the greater Los Angeles area. I live in a 40 year old townhouse that is, uh, it definitely, it has an HOA and HOA living has its complications. It, it, it can be very complicated. And then I also have a patio. My patio is about the size of a truck. And on this patio, I have tried to grow some limes and some potatoes. My lime tree has only had one fruit and that one fruit has been there for almost a year now. And it's only gotten slightly bigger, but I can't figure out what the heck's going on. I do have a couple other trees that are struggling as well, but I also have a white sweet potato plant. It flowered on me, but it too is struggling a little bit. Um, and, I, and I think it's because where I'm located, I only get about four four hours of sun on the patio and most plants, if they're direct sunlight type of uh, plants that feed our bodies, they typically need six or more hours of sunlight a day. So that is somewhat of a, of a challenge for me. There are other things that would, that keeps me motivated to retire to a farm, such as uh, working out and exercising on a farm, I can get all the exercise I really need and stay healthy, eat healthy there as well. Unlike here in Los Angeles, sometimes you have to drive 10 to 15 miles to go and exercise here. I am going to the Culver City stairs to get to the top of the stairs just to breathe more smog from all of the LA smog and not to mention the six dollars per gallon of gas that it takes nowadays to to go somewhere and then just to come turn around after an hour working out and come back home in more smog and those are some of the things that definitely motivate me another topic of why to retire to a farm of course is the lower cost of living. The rents in the greater LA area are really high. Take for example, a one bedroom apartment in Pasadena. One bedroom, $2,861 a month. That's a lot of money. I'm just thinking that can go far in Texas. That would be a very nice barn dominium, a very nice farmhouse. Just the quality of living uh, on that kind of rent would be great. And what makes life even better nowadays is that there are so many jobs that are hybrid or remote that makes living in, at a farm, living on a farm even greater, even as part-time retirement work. Definitely some benefits there. And then the last thing of why retire on a farm would be just being outdoors with nature. I'm a nature person. I love most animals. I love horses and I do love the longhorn cows. They're really smart cows. Some people think cows are dumb. These cows are very smart. They jump over fences and do a lot of crazy things that we will get to talk about 
and more episodes and we'll talk about fencing and in the next few episodes and how much does it cost for fencing just a lot of those things that when you're buying a farm if you don't know what to do uh, these things can be expensive in fact our farm now needs fencing and that's another that's a topic that I do want to talk about and get to learn more about from the farm community community and some folks that are experts on farms I've been looking at YouTube channels uh, a lot of information out there but it would be nice to actually reach out and interview someone so stay tuned I hope you join my channel or subscribe to my channel so that I can connect with you now the last thing is I'd like to cover with you is yeah, my five P's. I chose these five P's because it resonates with me and what I want to do. And, 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 and I just want to share those with you. Your five P's may be different. So precision, I need to make sure I have calculated tasks. There is, makes, it makes very little sense to do a task that is not on track with what I'm doing. So I call it kind of connecting the dots. So every time I try and do something, I try and make sure that I will be that that task will benefit me. If not right now, it will definitely benefit me in the future. When when I'm planning, I, it's important that I have a roadmap. I know where I'm going. I know what tools I need to uh, take along with me so I could be successful, as well as the timeline. What is my timeline? And now, of course, these things would prevent any rework. Rework is very expensive. It wastes time and it wastes money. So that alone, you just definitely don't want to do rework if you can avoid it. Because when you do rework, a lot of times because of the expenses, it could lead to you being penniless. We don't want to be penniless. Now, you don't always have to have money for things. Sometimes there is bartering. But even when you do barter, if you have a tangible item, at some point, you had to have some money to buy the raw, raw goods to make that item to exchange it for something else. So money is important. Uh, that's why penniless is so important for me. I do not want to be penniless uh, or dollarless. I want to have multiple dollars. <laughs> and lastly, we want to make sure that I'm doing things that are value added. Uh, this, and this is where the precision and the calculated task come in hand just making sure that everything that I do is of value so that it it takes this investment of uh, farm property to the next level for generational wealth and just for multiple reasons besides generational wealth you want to take care of your property and things like that these are the five P's. Precision planning prevents penniless productivity. And this is my mantra as I go through this journey. And I'm looking forward to folks reaching out and subscribing because I so want to hear from you. And this is the introductory ep episode. And we look forward to many more. Thank you for listening. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear from you, any comments that you have. I'd also love to interview you if you have knowledge to share about retiring on a farm.